climbing up into one of these caves near the shoreline of the Dead Sea. You can see how these caves were perfect places to hide these manuscripts. It's dry, it's salty, and so these manuscripts could be hidden away here for 2,000 years. We're walking along the ancient Canaanite dry tunnel, which gave them access to the water, even back during the time of Abraham. Have you ever visited an ancient ruin or held an ancient object and wonder what stories it could tell you? Well, here we are in Jerusalem, looking across the Kidron Valley. And this city speaks so much to us from the ancient world. And that's the world of the Bible, the world where biblical events took place. And at a time in history where there's so much skepticism, so much doubt about whether the Bible speaks of history or mere myth and legend, we have archaeology. Archaeology is not so much about proving the Bible. What archaeology does is it demonstrates to us that what we read in the Bible fits with what we know of the ancient world. The Bible is illumined by archaeology. Sometimes our reading of the Bible is challenged by archaeology. So come with me on a journey here in the ancient Near East to listen to what archaeology is telling us and to help us understand that biblical story.